Hey what's up guys, in today's video I am going to tell you about 10 must have apps for your Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. So without any further delays, let's get started. The first app is Wear Gesture. It is a really cool app for your Galaxy Watch 4 because it allows you to create custom gestures for launching different apps and features like timer and stopwatch. So instead of fiddling around menus and app drawer on your watch, you can very quickly open the app that you're looking for. Simply open the app select a new gesture and the app that you want to launch and create your custom gesture. That's it. To use it, tap on the right edge of the display on your watch and then draw the gesture to launch the app. Next up, considering that everyone is into cryptocurrency nowadays, whether it's Bitcoin or Dogecoin or any other, there is a simple app called Gemini which allows you to keep track of these currencies on the go. While the phone app provides more functionality, on the watch you can simply see the day-to-day -day prices and even check the trends for the past one week, month and year. So a nice way to keep track and stay on top of your cryptocurrency obsession. Now before I go any further, I want to talk about the sponsors of today's video and that is Atlas VPN, another VPN service. You might be thinking, but wait for it. Atlas VPN is offering a mind-numbing deal right now. With just a single subscription, you can use Atlas VPN on an unlimited number of devices, whether it is your phone, iPad, laptop, or even Android TV. And here is the cherry on top. Right now, Atlas VPN is running a huge discount. You can get a three-year subscription for just $1.39 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Time is running out, folks, so get your deal by clicking the link in the description below. With Atlas VPN, you never have to worry about your security on the internet. It will protect you from online trackers, shelter you from unsafe websites, as well as the perils of free Wi-Fi. Once you are connected to Atlas's server, your device gets a new IP and DNS address, which encrypts your data and gives you a word virtual location. This also allows you to break through the geo restrictions of streaming services like Netflix, Disney Plus or Prime Video, giving you access to your favorite content from across the globe. All you have to do is change your location to a country where you know a specific show is available and relaunch the streaming app like Netflix and you will get access to all the shows in that country. Easy peasy. I use this feature all the time to watch my favorite shows. And then there is the data breach monitor that scans the web databases for any leaks for your personal information and alerts you about them. So grab your Atlas VPN subscription as right now Atlas VPN is giving out a huge discount on its three-year subscription plan. It is just $1.39 a month and comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So get this deal by clicking the link in the description below. Moving on, I want to talk about a very cool game that I've been playing on this watch for some days now. It is very simple but at the same time engaging and you don't feel awkward playing it on the watch as well. The game is called Energy. All you have to do is tap on the pieces to rotate them and create a connected loop. The gameplay is accompanied by soothing and soulful music. The developers of the game also claim that just a few minutes of playing this game are enough to fight OCD and anxiety. So if this is something you can do on your watch and feel a bit more relaxed, why not? Next up is an internet browser and it comes directly from Samsung itself. And it is the best browser and perhaps the only browser that you can find for your Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. It is very easy and straightforward to operate. You can even open full page websites, play YouTube videos and also bookmark web pages. When you open it, you are greeted by a bookmarks page. But here you can search for any website and regular searches will open in Google. However, you can easily change your search engine to either DuckDuckGo or Bing. Resizing and navigating around websites is also easy and gesture based. I did a whole video explaining this browser and I will link it in the description below if you want to learn more about it in detail. Next up on the list is Google Keep. It is perhaps one of the most useful apps that you can download on your Galaxy Watch 4 to stay more productive. I personally use Google Keep to make lists and keep track of things I need to do and with the companion app on the watch, it becomes easy just staying on top of things. It becomes very useful when you're doing grocery and stuff and you cannot always have your phone in your hand. So just using your watch to look at the list makes things very convenient. However, if you want to make checklists, jot down something quickly, create reminders, you can also do that on the watch itself. It also gives you an option to pin and unpin notes at the top and even archive them. Moving on, the next app I want to mention here is Gboard Keyboard from Google. It is a QWERTY keyboard and replaces the traditional T9 keyboard from Galaxy Watch 4 and Watch 4 Classic. The reason that this keyboard is a must-have on your watch is that it allows a swipe to type feature 
which makes typing on such a small screen a breeze. After installing this keyboard, I found myself replying to text messages from my watch more often than before because it didn't feel like a hassle anymore. I will leave the link on the video that I did on Gboard in the description below if you want to learn more about it. The next app on the list is City Mapper. It is an app that I use regularly for planning and commuting through public transport and keeping track of the subway and bus timings. The companion app on the watch allows you to see all the details of your trip. When is your bus arriving and how far along are you in your trip? And when you are close enough to where you should get off, the watch will vibrate and alert you as well. Now this removes the need for me to be constantly looking at my phone for commute details. With just a flick of a wrist, I know exactly when my bus is arriving or which bus to take next. It is a must-have app if you use public transport to travel around the city. Moving on, the next app is Todoist. It is a very popular scheduling app, but with Wear OS running on Galaxy Watch 4, we now have access to the companion version of this app on Galaxy Watch 4. On the Watch app, you can see your tasks for the day, and even upcoming tasks as well. You can also access your inbox from the Watch app, and see all your sections and tasks under them. It also allows you to check off any tasks that you have completed. You can also create new tasks from the watch itself if you need to. If your daily workflow includes Todoist, then it is a valuable app to have on your watch as well. Next up, I want to talk about this health app called LifeSum. While the smartphone version of the app does a lot of things to help you keep track of your health, the watch version basically allows you to log in your food and water intake and you can also see your minutes of activity per day. Once again, a very cool way of making sure that you log in your calories in this app every day. Because the watch app is not cluttered and only does a couple of things, it makes the whole process of logging in your food and water intake straightforward. And finally, I want to mention the most feature-rich app that you can have on Galaxy Watch 4, and it is called Calm. Yes, it is the meditation app for your Watch 4, I was actually surprised to see that it offered so much capability. Basically, you can start any meditation on the watch app and then follow along. However, not all the features work and you will have to get the subscription on the smartphone app to unlock everything. But it does offer some free meditations that can be done from the watch without paying a dime. You can also log in your mood through the watch app and keep tracks of your emotions. So if you're into meditation, this might be a very good app for you. So that's about it from this video guys. I hope you have enjoyed it and it was useful for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.